another video but I just wanted to come on here and just say my little piece I was like high school when was it I think high school or middle school when Aaliyah came out and when Aaliyah started when they said that Aaliyah had married R. Kelly and it had it was either a no or it wasn't valid because they changed she lied about her age on the documents or they and now this man that worked for R. Kelly saying that he changed the documents he forged her age as something different they just signed the papers let me tell y'all something I'm not taking up for a killer because if he wrong, he wrong. If all this stuff happened, it happened. You know, he like a typical man. He gonna deny it until there's no more denying it can happen. But let me tell y'all something. White men been getting away with this for the test of times. You can go back in history and see how all the white men that married these young girls. The difference is they had money and their families just didn't give a damn. They just let them sit over there and be with the men because these men had money. Aaliyah family had sense enough to say, uh-uh. You, you can't stay married to this grown man who, he's a grown man. And let me tell y'all something. Are y'all saying these girls are the victims? Da, 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 da. They need to be held accountable for the things they do. Because if your 16 year old was out there dating this grown ass man, you wouldn't blame this grown ass man by himself. You would whoop your damn child ass. You would grab her and you would whoop her ass. You would take her in the back room and you would whoop her like she a two year old child getting a spanking for breaking something or something. Five-year-old child, six-year-old child, you will whoop her. And the reason why I said that is because of the fact I know, I when I was in high school, I'm 35 years old, and I and if, if they watch this, they know I'm talking about their ass. I know a lot of girls when I was in high school who was sneaking to go see grown men. Had mama at work, grown men popping up at their house. Fucking them. 26 and 27 year old me. The thing about it is R. Kelly got away with it for so long that he thought he could keep getting away with it for so long. I said because y'all egg it on. Why I say is because y'all parents shut y'all damn mouth. That's who I blame. I blame the motherfucking parents on this. Because once you did find out I don't blame them like saying if they fought their daughter went out there but once y'all find out y'all sh y'all shut your mouth y'all didn't open your mouth and then how you gonna say well my daughter been with him for nine years off and on what the fuck what <laughs> my child would my child is a boy and if some woman tried to manipulate him to be with her she wouldn't she wouldn't make it she wouldn't make it six months she wouldn't make it past a month being with him Sorry to tell y'all, but y'all slacking on y'all job. Now, why I blame these fast-ass girls is because I know they were lying to y'all. I know they was. Blame them little fast-ass helpers. They ain't no victim. Like I said, I, I, I know the mindset of a 16-year-old, 15-year-old girl. Back in 2014, I was just with a man. And he was cheating. And when he cheated on me, the, the girl, the girl, the girl was 19 by the time I broke up with him. But when he started going, when I found out he started going with her, this girl was 16 years old when he started going with her. And he's a 20, he was 20 something years old. So let me tell y'all, these girls lie, lie, and more lie. But her mama knew. Her mama knew he was a grown man because he tried to holler at her. So she knew. She didn't want him because she knew he wasn't hitting on nothing. But she thought he wasn't hitting on nothing. 
and she wanted a man more her age as well. But she knew he was a grown man. When she found out he was going with her daughter, she said, I tried to stop my daughter from going with him. It's a thing called call the cops, call the law, the law, the law, the law. Put a restraining order, even though you cannot. She's in the state, in the state I live in, she's legal. At 16 years old, we voted on that. And it, it, that everybody voted yes. That at 16 years old, you legal to give consent to have sex with a grown ass man or a grown ass woman. So, she was legal to sleep with him, but the point is, she live in your house, you can put a restraining order. She's under 18, you can put a restraining order on him for her, because she was 18 years old. The law for a restraining order says the parents can put a restraining order on this person for your child. So, if you find out he within 50 feet of your damn child, 200 feet of your child, he going to jail. Now, is is that I didn't know the type of person he was. I thought he just like little 18 year old. Cause they're 18 you grown. I thought he just like them 18 and up. And then I thought maybe he had cause his last girlfriend before that, before her, I could say before her, she was 18 when he started um she she was 18 when he started living with her. And you know, really, really dating her. So I thought that's what he liked at one time. He liked him 18 and and up. And I'd have heard some men say, Well, as long as you grown, because I mean, I was like 21 and I dated older men, and they was like, Well, as long as you grown, you know what, what it matters. And I was like, Sometimes it do matter because would you date a 17 year old? Would you date a 16 year old? She's legal to date you. Would you date her? And they was like, no, that's a key. You know, so I knew that most of the men they admitted. I mean, I ain't gonna say I knew, but I assumed that most of the men that I dated did not like kids. When I found this out, I told him, I said, you is a pervert. You is a child molester. You dated a kid. A kid. And then I said, you have the nerve to sit here and lie about it. Because you don't want nobody to know she was a kid. When you first started dating her, you tried to lie about it. Because I seen it on the internet. You, y'all said, oh, we just cool. You had it on Facebook. Somebody asked y'all, was y'all dating? You said, no, we just cool. Then she started, you know, saying stuff about them dating on Facebook. And I asked him. I kept asking him and kept asking him. He said, no. So I'm like, men get away with it all the time. But it's these fast ass girls that's helping them get away with it. Cause you lying to your mama, you lying to your daddy, you lying to your other family members who look at the situation as, uh uh, you shouldn't be dating him. Then by the time they find out, you grown. It's too late then cause you grown now. You grown now. So what can anybody say to you about dating this man? They can't say nothing to you about dating this man because by the time they find out, you grown. You done held a lie in for so long, you grown. I, I know women right now that's got children and, and had these children back when they was teenagers for grown ass men. And they sat around here and had to lie put it off on some little boy for so long. Little boy wasn't even there to sign the birth certificate, no nothing, when there ain't been there, and they, the mama was like, well, he don't want nothing to do with her, because it wasn't his baby. He knew that. He knew that that girl put that baby off on him to y'all. But in the street, in the school, it was a grown-ass man baby. Like I said, they say Aaliyah, Aaliyah might have been pregnant for R. Kelly and all the... Like I said, young girls think they doing something dating grown-ass men. 
but don't realize these grown ass men are sick in the motherfucking head dating y'all asses. It should not be dating y'all asses because y'all too young. Y'all don't know what dating is. And y'all need they y'all need to grow up first before you talk about dating a man. Imagine your daddy dating your 16 year old friend. Y'all little 16 year old girls who may watch this. Imagine your daddy date your 16 year old friend. Imagine that. You'll be daddy that's nasty. And nasty daddy. But then your daddy holler. She legal. And then you go out and do it. And he ready to whoop your ass. Lock you up in the room. Throw the man in jail. But then you're going to be like, Daddy, but you dating my friend. That's just how, how the double standard is. But us as women, we have to stop the double standard. Like they say, men can sleep around the world. Men can't sleep around the world. We ain't giving up, giving up our cooties. How they going to sleep around the world? We ain't giving them no cootie. They can't sleep around the world. You ain't giving them nothing to sleep around the world with. So quit with this double standard stuff. We help that double standard. Because we sleeping with these same men who sleeping around the world. And then we be saying, well, 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 this and that and the third. And I heard a lot of people say, well, you can't blame the, these children for being manipulated when there's grown women that's been manipulated. Like that woman said on the, on the show. She was a grown ass woman. And she was such a she was grown but she was such a fan of R. Kelly she didn't listen to nothing that nobody said if you didn't like it if you didn't like R. Kelly or you said something bad about R. Kelly she would get she would get in your shit and you if you was one of them young girls who was like uh uh-uh he too old for me. I ain't doing this. I came here for a music career. He, he said he could help my music career. She was throwing her out the dope. They went to school. But we ain't had no school. Oh, y'all. But I'm just saying, it's like ridiculous when it come down to blaming these young girls, not letting these, these girls be held accountable for the things they did. Like they say, like like they, the dad going to say, um, he never dropped his child off at R. Kelly house. You might as well. You let her go. Talking about all you know is she was supposed to go to a concert. How your daughter go from a motherfucking Art Gale concert to his motherfucking house and you not know? And you not know? My mom, when I was 16 years old, my mama knew where I was, when I was, why I was doing it, when I was doing it, how I was doing it. And it wasn't everybody child didn't have a cell phone back then. Everybody child didn't have a cell phone back then. So let me tell y'all something. When these kids on here sit on here, I mean dumb don't they grown women now. When they sit on here and boo hoo, they knew what they was doing. They were lying to their parents to get the R. Kelly, thinking that R. Kelly was gonna help their music career. This man has been in the media for so long about Aaliyah, the Leah situation. Y'all still going to let y'all daughter go with him? Y'all still going to let y'all daughter go with him? Just like y'all used to be on TV telling these white people, oh, you let your child go to uh, Michael Jackson house. Everybody used to be all over the internet. You know, the internet wasn't the way it was now. We we didn't have social media back then when this stuff was going on. But there were sites on the internet, blog sites on the internet. There were blog sites on the internet talking about it. There, there were all over the news talking about it. They showed Michael Jackson going in court several times for different allegations that he never got charged for.
never did no jail time for and but y'all the first thing y'all would holler where these parents was when they was at michael jackson house why would you leave your child at michael jackson house i said now nah, the same thing with r kelly everybody want to know why you left your child but then the first thing you're gonna say i didn't need my child i signed the paper saying my daughter was supposed to be why would you sign the paper for a stranger to watch your damn child You should have said my child could be only accompanied by a trusted adult that I know, that I choose, that I wants to be there, that I pick. You could go get Boo Boo Kitty off the street, interview her, your motherfucking self, and tell her to research R. Kelly and and let her go in the house with your damn child before you let somebody from R. Kelly camp. What they call them, the camps. You should have known they was working with R. Kelly. You should have known that. Because how he get away with that Aaliyah stuff? If he didn't have people working for him. And that knew what was going on. I said, some of y'all parents don't want to be held accountable for how y'all do y'all children. How y'all let y'all children just run loose. And then you want somebody to feel sorry for you because your your child end up in a, a predator's hand. You signed your child over to R. Kelly and didn't know it. So basically you just went on TV to say, I signed my child over to R. Kelly. Thinking that I was signing my child over to an trusted adult. That you never met. Because you ain't said one time you met this person. And then you was like, oh, we was keeping in contact with Robert. And then once once Kelly, um, after a while, Kelly wouldn't let us stay in contact. Now, for any of y'all parents out here, boy, girl, whoever, let me tell y'all future parents out here. Before you put your child life on the line for any artist out here, for any artist, you better make sure your ass can be right behind them walking every step of the way. Every step of the way. The reason why I say that is because you are trusting your child in a stranger's hand. A stranger. Like we, we was taught when we was kids. We was taught when we was kids. So it should be up in your brain that you don't talk to strangers. That you don't talk to strangers. You don't deal with strangers. So you just going to sign your child over to a stranger. Even though you be like, oh, he a big time artist. He trying to help her music career. He going to make sure she go to school. He going to do this. He going to do that. But the Lil movie came out before 2016. I'm just saying, even before the movie came out, we had already heard what R. Kelly did to Aaliyah. We had already heard he had married her and she was a kid. If you didn't hear, you need to research. I don't care if it's... Ty Dolla Sign, um, Rich Homie the Kid, Rich Homie, Quan. Soldier boy, I don't care who this person is. 
I, I could throw some big names out there. That's been in the business a while. I don't care if you go back to uh uh Diddy, Jay Z, don't leave your child in the presence of a stranger. You don't know this person. You just know what you see on the TV. And what you see on the TV ain't always one hundred. What you hear ain't always one hundred. What I mean by that is, if you see that they ain't did it in a while on the TV, or you ain't heard about their name in the media for a while, that don't mean they ain't doing nothing. That they ain't, that don't mean they ain't out here. That don't mean that. What it means is, you entrusting your little girl, your little boy, in the hands of people that you don't know. That's just like Usher mama said. When she sent her child when she first put her child in the music business and she entrusted him under some people Things didn't go good. She had to snatch him back and find somewhere else for him to be too. He ended up at So So Death. That's just like Bow Wow. He went over there to where he was on the death row. Everybody know about death row. Everybody know about death row. Everybody done heard the stuff about death row. So I know his mama glad he ended up at So So Death. Cause if he had stayed on death row, he wouldn't have been he wouldn't have been nothing in this world. He wouldn't have been a nothing in this world. He had stayed on So So Death. I mean um Death Row. So So Death took him in, wrote his music until he was able to start really, really writing his own raps. You have to look at it like this. As a parent, you do not become, you do not leave your child under anybody's under anybody's care. If y'all as the parents can't be there and be parentures like momagers and daddagers, then your child should be in the music business. Your child, your, your kid. And the reason why I'm saying this to y'all to the parents is because I do put some blame on y'all. I y'all got to have some blame. I don't blame y'all for the fact of what R. Kelly did per se. Because sleeping with your child, I can't blame y'all for that. Manipulating y'all child, I can't blame y'all for that. But I can blame y'all for leaving y'all child in the company of this man. You go home. You at home. You talking about I'll make a phone call. No, I would have been right there. Oh, she got studio time. Oh, we going to... We're gonna go from the hotel to your studio and we're gonna we're gonna get us a temporary apartment in Chicago. And once he said, Well, I need to get her back in Atlanta. Okay, we're gonna go back to Atlanta. We're gonna get us a temporary apartment in Atlanta and we're gonna we're gonna thug this thing out. Cause she ain't gonna be without one of her parents. Now, I watched the Aaliyah movie, and when I watched that movie, it wasn't all that good. You know, Lifetime could have did better, but let, let me say, her parents, the, the way they told their side of the story, because I'm sure it was their side of the story, the way they told that was the uncle got her in touch with R. Kelly. <laughs> I can't blame the uncle for that neither. But that uncle should have been right there making sure his niece was A-OK. -okay. He should have been right there. And her mama should have been checking up and making sure she was A-OK -okay after school just going to R. Kelly house. I mean, studio. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I would have been right there. Dropping her off, picking her up. Even in her studio sessions.
It's a lot of momatures out here that be in their cheering studio sessions. So they make sure they churn are doing what they're supposed to be doing. But y'all just go and leave your child with R. Kelly. That, that, that don't make sense. That don't make sense. I understand you might not know the music business, but you learn the music business. You start researching. You start doing what you can to get to know that. Because I have a child, too. I'm somebody's mom. And as somebody's mom, my mindset changed. Once I became a mom, my mindset changed. At first, I, when I first heard it, I might have been like, well, maybe she might have been lying to him by her age. Maybe she might have been telling him she was 18, 19. But the, the find out later on, I thought about it. I'm like, no, because some of these men out here don't care. Some of these men know how old you are. They just don't give a damn. Because they know that they can manipulate you to do what they want you to do. And that's give your cootie to them. So, I mean, that's why I said no. I don't blame the parents for that. Because that's your child's between her legs. If you taught your child certain ways in life and you gave them certain morals at, at teenage age, they know what you didn't taught them over the years. They know. They just see a grown man who want them, and they went for it. And now they want to say, he did this, and he did this, and he did that. Yeah, he may have, but you, you let him. Because a strong-minded woman would have been a strong, even a strong-minded teenager. Most people say, oh, they kids. But go to a high school and sit in a classroom full of these damn kids and see how they act. And you would have known who is the weak-minded ones and who the strong-minded ones. You would know. That's why he go for the little girls that was weak-minded. Like the Jack Grown woman said, he go for weak-minded people. It ain't matter. These kids, small little kids. I can look at them and say, okay, this big child right here going to get him to do this because they know he going to do it. But this one over here going to go and say, uh-uh, my mama ain't going to allow me to do that. Or, uh-uh, you ain't supposed to do that. So he ain't, he ain't going to try to get him to go throw dirt at him. Kids do it all the time. They figure out who the weakest link is and they go forward. But then you take that into adulthood and you use it against people. Grown women do it. So why you so this grown man did it? It depends on the situation. And they saying his situation was he was raped by his sister. He was molested by his sister. Um, so that means, don't throw the man to the wolves right just yet. Get the man some help. Go get the man some help. The first thing y'all said, he should go to jail. If he go to court for this, all he got to do is, all he got to do is claim he got some kind of mental illness. They going to get him checked out. And he's still going to get off. So, I mean, either way, he's going to find a way to get off. Don't they all? Because these white people showing up with swearing down. Michael Jackson showing up with doing something to their child or did something to their child, but they got he got off. And we knew he was a little cuckoo in the brain. I don't care what nobody say. Joe beat some out of him. Joe beat some out that man. And this sister... The sister need to, if this sister still, if our cat sister still live, she needs to be getting some help right along with him. She needs to be in a mental institution right along with him. Put him in some padded walls for a while. See how he acts. See how he, he, he acts. Lock him up in the padded room for a padded cell for a while. I call it a padded cell because if they can't come out, and you sliding them food up under the door or where, however you do it nowadays. He might need that. And then the only time he come out is to go to his therapy sessions. Because he need, he got he got mental issues. And he going to deny. Because that's the first stage. It's denial. Why this man over here talking about TMZ. Did somebody just say that TMZ? 
that TM didn't, didn't the dad just say that TMZ was listening to R. Kelly? TMZ was going back getting information from R. Kelly. And y'all say TMZ don't lie. I done heard plenty of people say, well, TMZ won't lie. TMZ lie, but they a lie. And then they won't retract they lie when they find out it is a lie. So, I mean, let me tell you something. Don't believe these blogger sites. Because if they think it's real, they're going to put it out there and they may not retract what they said. They may not say they sorry. Because they know it was only their writer's opinion. And allegedly <laughs> why everybody want to keep saying allegedly every day all day hold these women accountable for what y'all did what was y'all telling y'all parents when y'all parents was calling y'all what was y'all telling y'all parents you lie to your parents you need to be held accountable for because you go in the court of law and lie you're gonna go to jail so parents need to, I mean, so these people need to be held accountable. You sit over here and lie to your mom and your daddy. You sit over here and lie to the world, and they still lie. So that's how he could get away with it for so long. His wife kept her mouth closed for so damn long. Now that she ain't with him, she got a whole new husband. She want to, my baby daddy. Yeah, that's my baby daddy. My other baby daddy, y'all, my baby daddy. Then when people sit over here and say, now tell your side of the story. We'll pay you to tell your side of the story. These girls ain't getting paid, but we'll pay you. She sit over there. Every time she get paid to come on the show to tell her side of the story, it's boo hoo 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 hoo. Every time she getting paid to go on one of these shows, it's boo hoo 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 hoo. And then talking about she building a brand to help these girls. How? Helping them girls was when you would have came out of that damn house. You would have told it right then and there. You would have had that man committed to a, a mental institution right then and there. Because the things you went through, baby girl, you shouldn't have never went through. And you shouldn't have sat there so long. Because while he was doing all these tours and all this and that, I know he went dragging you along with him every time. You probably could have left some kind of way. He went home 2014. And I know he ain't had no bodyguards sitting there watching your house. I mean, you know, watching you 2014. Or what they call, call it, his runners. His errand people. They weren't watching you like that. So, I mean, I mean, when you had your time, you could have got her out. Or you could have set it up where you use somebody else's phone. Because we heard about the phone plan thing, too. You could have set it up where you use somebody else's phone. He you, you use somebody else's phone that wasn't a part of R. Kelly's camp. And... You could have said, well, my phone dead. Can I use your phone? And you could have called 911. You could have went off, called 911, and told them what they was doing, what he was doing to you. Peeing in a bucket. You can only go to the bathroom when he say, unless you pee in that bucket. You can only eat when he say. And what one girl say, she only survived off water and peanuts. Does he use food as a punishment? When you need food to survive. And he used it as a punishment. He only gave you food to punish you. So y'all should have been like 200 some pounds. Because I would have been doing stuff to get punished all the time. <laughs> that would have been like. But when he showed that video of himself eating that sl slop out the bowl with that big ass serving spoon, we know something wrong with him. <laughs> we know something deadly wrong with him. His wife could have helped him get some help years ago. She could have helped him get some help when she left the damn house. But no, she looking at the money, the moolah. She still had alimony and child support coming in.
There's no more. There's no more alimony. Cause she married to a whole nother man, and there's no more child support. And then he ain't got no money. He going, what they say, he going bankrupt or whatever. He ain't got no money, so. So. But y'all, I'm going to wrap this up. And. Like I said, pace. Because I got to um, do, do some paperwork for my other job. And um, I just wanted to get my thoughts and opinion on the situation. If you don't like it, leave a comment. If you like it, leave a comment. If you don't care about my opinion, peace out the video. If you made it this far. Um, but if you want my thoughts and opinion on anything else, leave a comment. Um, <clears throat> but hit that subscribe button. Cut on your notification bell so you can know when your girl dropping another video. Uh, I need... I guess about five five hundred likes on this video. I don't I don't need a lot of likes, just five hundred. And your girl may drop another video like this. But peace out.